When I look around this room, it's hard not to see the bright lights, the stage, the projectors, the big screens. All part of an experience that we work so hard to create at our church each week. But truth be told, nothing we do here matters without people in the seats. Without the people, this place has no chance of living up to its potential. It's just a room of empty space where silence is monumental. But when a person finds a seat here, it sparks something divinely quintessential, a God-given mission to help restless searching hearts discover their potential. The purpose of this place is seeing lives changed for God's glory, helping people write the next chapter in a better life story. So it's not the stages, the lights, and the music that headline the show each week. It's the potential redemptive power that God has placed upon these seats. Every opportunity counts. Every seat here is essential. Because when people find their seats, the power is exponential. I've seen it in action. I've seen the story of changed lives. I've seen broken people get up from these seats and walk out saved because of Christ. But you'll never hear it better than from the ones whose lives have changed for God's glory. How an empty seat saved them and forever changed their life story. For whatever reason, in 2008, um, I found myself really restless and seeking for something. I wanted to feel like part of something. I wanted to belong. And I asked God to give me some sort of sign that uh, he could guide me to that, that type of place. Getting off the expressway one day to go to my home in West Toledo, I looked up and saw a billboard. Uh, it said Cedar Creek, opening Easter Sunday. West Toledo campus. That was in 2008, and uh, my wife and I have been Creekers ever since. It's been great for our marriage. It's been good for our home life, uh, for our grandchildren, and I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. When I got to college, it seemed like I was falling further and further away from God. And in November of 2014, I looked at my life and realized I have fallen so far off the path of God. I reached out to my friends, asked them where they went to church. Someone said something about Cedar Creek. So I looked it up and I attended a West Toledo campus service and I walked out of there sobbing in tears of how excited I was. Thanks to Cedar Creek Church, I have been living a more godly life and being able to reach out to God and follow my path again. The last year has been really rough. Just about everything that can go wrong has gone wrong. But most people around me thought I was doing fine because I was able to wear the mask and appear to be fine, even as I was crumbling inside. I got to a point where it looked like the only solution, the only way to make the pain stop was just to take my life. And I planned to take my life on a Sunday night, but on a Saturday night, I just wanted to go to the creek. And so I went to the creek in Findlay and sat in the back and basically just cried for the entire service. And then I stayed in there and went to the second service. And by the second service, I had the hope that I didn't need to take my life. I felt alone. I was depressed. And there was always something missing in my life. My daughter came home from college and we were shopping in the mall for Christmas and on the way out we saw some flyers for Cedar Creek Christmas Eve service and my daughter thought well I think we should probably go mom and I said okay we'll we'll give it a try so we went to the service and it was amazing the the band was amazing the message was amazing so we decided to go through the series of getting in spiritual shape for the first time I'm reading the Bible more I'm not alone and that's something that was missing in my life was Christ. So thank you, Cedar Creek. A few years back, I lost my husband and my son uh, to tragic accidents. And when this happened, I quite honestly really didn't know where to turn. 
I went to church, not on a regular basis, but I really wasn't finding what I needed. This lost feeling went on for quite a while. When I did come, my very first thought when I walked through the doors was, what a fr friendly place. It was a little bit overwhelming for me at first, but what I did notice is that the message really meant something here. I took something away from that that, that really stuck with me. I'm so glad that, that God decided to put Lee Powell and his wife Joy into my life because this has been such a transition for me in such a, a wonderful way. I can't even imagine where I would be right now if it hadn't been for that invite. Come on, friends, this is God's church, and we are God's people, the salt and light of a world sharing hope that has no equal. Let's do it for our families, our friends, our schools, our cities. Let's do it for our country, one nation under a God that is living, alive inside of us through the gift of his son, Jesus Christ, who gave his very last breath to rescue our broken lives. So let's take this challenge together over the next three weeks to do our part across all of our campuses, to not leave one empty seat, not miss one opportunity for love to change a life, not overlook one chance to introduce someone to Christ. It all starts with the invite to fill these seats one by one. And if we can join together, so much can be done. So let's go now. Let's be the church. It's our time to shine. Let's go now and be the hope that so many want to find. So take one last look around and consider this final key. God will always deliver on his promise. But filling these seats is up to you and me. Oh, the possibility if we just make the most of this opportunity.